There is more to New York than Central Park, Broadway and Wall Street. To appreciate the diverse lifestyles and customs of New Yorkers, we need to learn about those parts of the city that don't always make it into the films and TV shows. During the 1970s, New York suffered a period of financial crisis, which had a significant impact on most neighborhoods, including Alphabet City in Manhattan. The area became known for its homeless people and garbage-ridden streets, its abandoned buildings and rising crime rates. But the people of Alphabet City decided to reclaim their neighborhood, regenerating its civic, social and cultural life. They turned abandoned buildings into squats and created community gardens, many of which are still used today. This was not an easy task. The locals faced criticism and resistance. However, today, children and adults, residents and tourists alike, agree that Alphabet City is a better place to be. To find out about the way this emblematic neighborhood was transformed, we're meeting Bill de Paula in the squad, which houses the Museum of Reclaimed Public Space. And 35 years ago, there was these abandoned spaces. The people in this neighborhood were kind of a little bit community-based to begin with. It wasn't near the subways, so people would ride their bikes around and they would talk to each other. That was amplified because the people had to then work together. They didn't want to wait for the city. The, uh, the neighborhood became very crime-ridden and very dirty and it wasn't safe for their kids anymore. And these lots were filled with wood and rubble. So the people in the neighborhood about 30 years ago started fixing up the neighborhood themselves. Community gardens in this neighborhood are all different. There could be some that are mixed use, which means they have several different components. Open space, um, kid space, and maybe like an area where you can grow your own food, and that's called a plot. Some of the people went across, fixed up some buildings, used, again, the skill share they learned in the gardens or in the squats. There was electricians, there was plumbers. I'm a plumber. We taught everybody different things. We had no heat, no electricity, and basically no windows, no floor in a lot of them. Really bad shape these buildings were in. So one of the squats is a bicycle repair workshop where people could come and do that kind of thing and um, there's art in the squats, there's a lot of free speech and that kind of thing. Sure, when the city was in financial trouble 35 years ago, people wanted their neighborhood back. So they fixed up these abandoned lots and made community gardens, they made community centers and that's how we got most of the squats. They started taking back the buildings themselves. This type of behavior created more community. From that community, the crime did go down and the neighborhood got more beautiful. So New York City is just starting a compost like a month ago. That came from the community gardens which were illegally started by the people. If people didn't tear down that fence, we might not have composting now, right? So the recycling started the same way. The bicycling came from this neighborhood. So, so many of these things that seemed edgy now are just so mainstream. And what it does, it came from just a bunch of people without money working together and practicing something in a space, an urban space that they took over.